Hello everyone. Today I will take you to the tour of the Acropolis of Ahmedabad, Sir Khaj Roza, the Living Monument. The architectural style of Sir Khaj Roza is an elegant mix of Islamic and Hindu architectures, evident from its composite Indo-Saracenic style. This beautifully sculpted building houses the tomb of sultans of Gujarat dating back 14th and 15th centuries. Mahmud Begda, Muzaffar Shah II and Mahmud Shah III are laying in eternal sleep in an elegant mausoleum adorned with carved pillars and intricate stones. Sultan Mahmud Begda's birth name was Fath Khan. On his accession adopted the title Abu Al Fath Mahmud Shah. but was popularly known as Mahmud Begda meaning the conqueror of two forts Muzaffar Shah II born Khalil Khan reigned over the Gujarat Sultanate as a successor of his father Mahmud Begda Mahmud Shah III born Mahmud Khan was the grandson of Muzaffar Shah II he was born in 1526 and died in 1554 These are the adorable carvings around the tombs of sultans. Every small detail is taken care while carving the chalis with lattice work. People who worship here believe that a sip of water from this well can heal a person mentally and physically. Also, if one sprinkles some drops of water on oneself, all skin illness will be healed. The Jama Masjid of Sir Khaj Roza holds simple elegance in appearance and architecture. This is a simple pillared hall with domes of uniform height. This mosque complex has a prayer hall and galleries on the sides for walking and praying. Here, especially in the month of Ramzan, daily prayers happen with enchanting decoration. This is the 16 pillared pavilion called Baradri in front of Sheikh Ahmed Khatu's tomb. It is said that the initial construction of the mosque and the excavation of the lake was supervised by the Sufi saint Sheikh Ganj Bakhsh Khatu himself sitting in the Baradri. The dargah of Hazrat Shaikh Ahmad Khattu Ganj Bakhsh is adjacent to the Jama Masjid. This huge monument is built on a raised platform. It has a large central dome surrounded by many smaller domes. The walls are carved out with extreme perfection. Shaikh Ahmad Ganj Khattu was a Sufi saint who was a close friend and advisor to Ahmad Shah I. Separated from the king's chamber there are queen's graves located in this library cum museum this museum reserves the books and the stone inscription this was actually part of the queen's chambers one and houses the tombs of the queens most notable of them being bibi rajbai around the ahmed sar there are the ruins of royal palaces one of them is the king's palace This was built in the 13th century by Mahmud Begda. This also has a mosque used by sultans for their prayers. Another palace is the Queen's Palace. This palace architecture has Hindu, Muslim and Jain elements. This is said to be the queen's chamber.